Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how to create a bookstore management project, I mean a program in Python and MySQL. So here we are going to use Python and MySQL, two different softwares. Python is our front end, MySQL is our back end. Okay. And here in the first line, I'm just importing MySQL dot connector, which means I'm just connecting my MySQL and the Python. Okay. Because all those MySQL queries, we are going to type in the Python itself. We are not going to uh, going and typing, uh, creating the database and creating the table in uh, SQL. We are just doing everything in Python. So to connect these, I'm just importing the uh, module MySQL dot connector. Okay. And I'm having a variable MyDB. Okay. In that I'm having I'm just using the connect function, mysql.connector.connect function. And through this, I'm giving the SQL's uh, access, that is localhost, and then user ID and password to the Python, OK? And after that, I'm creating the table. My cursor is equal to mydb.cursor. So this you could have learned in the lesson uh, interface between MySQL and Python, OK? And then my cursor dot execute. So execute is a function which is available in mysql.connector. And here I'm giving the statement create database if not exist store. So this is the query usually we used to type in SQL, but here we are typing in Python itself. Okay. And create database, database name. This is what the um, uh, syntax which we have learned. But here you could see a new word called if not exist, which means when you run the same program again and again in a same, a same system, the database will not be created again and again. So as per MySQL, you can create a database uh, with a name, with a name only once. So next time, if you are uh, creating with the same name, it will show you uh, the error, okay, which means the database is already exist. So what I'm saying, create the database with the name store if that does not exist. If exist, don't create it, use that, use store, okay? So if that, if a database with the name store is not exist, Created. If it has already exist, don't create it. Okay. And next, whether it is there or you created it or not, use that uh, store. Okay. And then I'm creating a table. Create table. Again, the same concept. If not exist, sign up. So I'm just going to have a table called sign up. We are going to have a few tables here. The first table is sign up. Okay. And in that, I'm going to have username and password. So for both, I'm giving varchar as a data type. Okay. So next, while true we are entering into the program okay print and this is for just for decoration purpose welcome to my bookstore and then you are giving the options sign up and login so you are giving two options when the user is entering number one you will be taking them to sign up uh, function when they press number two you will be taking them to the login process okay so that will be stored in the car uh, in the variable ch okay now the sign up part if ch is equal to 1, which is sign up, you will be getting the username and password from the user using the input function. And then my cursor.execute insert into sign up values. So insert these values which you got from the uh, user, that is username and password, insert those values into the uh, table sign up. So we have already created the table sign up. So we are give, using insert into function we are just just adding those values to the sign up table okay and then you are printing the statement sign successfully signed up so sign up process got over next we are moving into login if the if the user has chosen the um, value one you are giving sign up when it is two that is elif okay elif is two and you are asking the username and password because that is a login page usually the login page will be asking the username and password when they enter the username and password, you are checking whether the username is correct. So first you are checking whether the username is correct. If the username is matching with the table sign up, you are displaying valid username. Okay. And you are checking the password. If the password is also matching, then you are printing logging successful. Okay. If not matching, you will be displaying the message that in incorrect id or incorrect password okay it will come here so uh, else part of those if is here okay so now coming back here um you are just asking the user id and password and then um you will be uh allow you will be printing the statement logging successful okay then you are creating two different tables called available books and then cell record in available books table you are having book name primary key 
where care quantity of the book author publication price price of the book okay and then in cell record table you will be having customer name phone number because to whom you are selling okay book name quantity price and total amount so these are all the field names you are have, going to have in your cell record okay and then you are just executing those um, queries okay and then while true while true print you are giving options okay when this is true which means when they are uh, logged in successfully you are giving seven options to the users the first option is add book the second option is sell books the third option is search books fourth one is sell record fifth one is available books sixth one is total income after the latest reset and the seventh one is exit okay then enter your choice the choice will be stored in the variable a now let us see how these are going to work okay so when they select add books that is that means when they select number one print all information prompted or mandatory to be filled you are going to get the information about the books from the user okay so you are going to get the uh, uh, book name general quantity of the book author name of the book publication and the price all these you are storing in a in a few variables and those values you are storing in the available books table okay so um suppose if the book is already exist uh, you will be showing that uh, you will be adding only the quantity okay and you will be displaying the message successfully added okay so if that is already available you will be add, uh, updating only the quantity if that is a new book you'll be updating all those things and you'll be printing successfully added okay so this is how add books work and the next one is sell book sell book when they select number two so it will be showing available books so select star from available books so whatever the books are available in your table that will be listed on the screen and then you will be asked to enter the customer name phone number book name price and quantity and then you are calculating amount is equal to price star n which means the quantity and the price okay so only then you will be getting the total amount okay and then um, you are just getting the information whether the books is available or not the quantity and if the quantity is uh, more if not available if the books are not available you will be printing that books are not available okay otherwise you are just getting the information whatever information you got from the user you are just printing that you are just adding those to the cell record table okay and then you are updating the available books book because you have sold the books which means some books are uh, being sold um, and the quantity has to be reduced so what you are doing after selling the particular books you are just updating the quantity of the available books table okay so quantity is equal to quantity minus string of n okay n means the num the quantity which you are selling okay so that that you are uh, updating and then you are printing book has been sold okay if not you will be printing book is not available okay so now the third option when they select the third option you are giving the option to search the books here you are giving three options for the user to search the books the first option is using the book name the second one is using the journal and the third one is using the author name okay so when they select the option based on that you are giving the uh, you are giving the option to search okay so the first search by what when they select one enter book to search so you are you are asking the user to type the book name okay and you are checking whether that book name is available in the available books or not okay if yes you will be printing book is in stock otherwise you are a printing book is not in stock that's it then the second option jenner same thing is happening and you are printing the output okay and then uh, when they select three using the author name you are checking using the author name in the available books table and then you are printing whether it is available or not okay so this is how search function works and then cell history when they select the fourth option cell history okay so here you are giving two options cell history details and then reset cell history which means whatever is being saved in the cell record will be removed and you are you will be having a new table okay so you are asking enter your choice so if they select cell history you are printing all the things from the cell record okay 
and you are uh, asking whether you wanted to continue because um, if they select reset cell record you should make sure that they really wanted to delete all the rec records which is being already stored okay and if they select yes then delete from cell record so this is the query which is used to uh, delete the remove the data from the table the table will be there only the content of the table will be removed which means the records will be removed okay uh, that's all about cell history and then we are having available books when they select number five you will be taking to the part of the available books available books is nothing but just by print as uh, i'm um, printing the select statement okay select star from available books order by book name so however you wanted to order you can even change that so that is up to you and then when they select six that is total income after update okay so you have already um you are just updating the cell record table total amount is equal to quantity star price okay so select sum of total which means you wanted to know how much income you have got okay so you are using the sum function here this is aggregate function okay uh, that you are using here and then you are just printing it okay so that's all when they select seven it will be printing thank you and it will come out of the program okay so else you are giving break statement of that first if so that's all about the program now let me show you how this is working so i'm just pressing f5 so here is our output screen so welcome to bookstore sign up login i'm just pressing one sign up username i'm just typing krish password is one two three four now you are getting the message successfully signed up okay now login number two login i'm just giving the username krish password one two three four okay now you should have noticed that here i've given capital k and here i've given small k but still it is working so it is case insensitive okay and then it's, it shows valid username login successful now it is giving me the options all the seven options so now first i'm pressing one add books all information prompted are mandatory which, which means you have to give uh, values for all the things which is being asked on the screen okay enter book name I'm just typing pony in selvin one of my favorite books and then generous um novel and then quantity let me enter 20 author name is Kalki and then publication house um, I can give like Narmada and price of the book is 500 rupees okay successfully added now it came out from the program now I'm going back I'm just pressing F5 now I'm selecting number two I'm giving username password now enter my choice sell book okay so now it is showing available book so th these are all the books i've already added in the same table okay so now so now i've entered the different details and uh, it shows me book has been sold now let us go back run the program again login now i'm selecting the third option okay search books so search by name i'm giving the first option search by one enter the book to search i'm giving Bonnie and Sylvan. okay book is in stock now going back running the program again logging in now the fourth option sell record okay so sell history or you wanted to sell uh reset the sell history i'm just selecting number one so this is my sell history okay so these are all the um books i have sold okay so now uh, let us run the program once again now i'm just checking number five that is available books so we had given 20 books as pony in selvin and two books were sold okay so now we have 18 books in the list okay now i'm selecting number six total income after the latest reset okay so i have earned 1900 rupees okay that is 1900 rupees so far fine 
finally i'm just checking the seventh option it's just this pain thank you and it, it just came out from my uh, pro program okay so that's all about this program hope uh, you have learned how it is working and as usual the soft copy of this is available in my website you can check it through my um, description we'll see in the next video thank you happy learning